and those numbers should be given to a special characteristics which we say the property in fact i have stated uh, many many corollaries of that particular unknown uh, theorem which defines or which identifies any characteristic to be a property or not there is a mathematics which i'll load it on my website we'll go ahead now it is time to make everything scientific after agreeing these two very important even if you are al al i mean allocating numbers to a characteristic if you do more scientifically they will become more reliable and otherwise no the things will fail in the time one of the most powerful indian medicine ayurveda such a powerful medicine uses very good quality uh, natural materials as a medicines somehow lost in its identification because they have a very few properties or they don't scientifically create nowadays many of my colleagues are developing some of the instrument which can scientifically identify the qualities which are used by a ayurvedic doctor or a vaidy so starting from this one the idea behind my this title is can we have a law which will help us that all the numbers which i am giving are scientifically derived there is no confusion and there is no difference of opinion there is no conflict of opinion all the things are scientifically done that is the idea behind this particular one and why i need uh, let me start why we need such a powerful scientific method even to give numbers to the characteristics you see this one i know what are the qualities required why i need those qualities i know and how to give a number also i know but still why more science the confirmation agreeing internationally on a concept you ima you imagine uh, somebody makes a medicine in america a doctor in a remote village in india by doing some tests on a patient he thinks that that medicine will suit him and this particular person never know may not be knowing uh, who made this uh, medicine who invented this medicine how this medicine is made still he thinks that uh, he this medicine will work and he did some tests so you see this one some of the decisions are connected remotely whenever you are taking a system decisions with a remote understanding the scientific methods are very essential so that's how let me explain you the requirements the first and foremost requirement why i want a law is i need to know the state of a system very very well i don't want any kind of confusion at this stage in fact after all what is engineering thermodynamics to eliminate all kinds of confusions to describe a system and anybody whether i do or somebody else do or any one of you do a study of the system all of should say the same conclusions when will that happen so that's how the, our idea of everything is the system specification or a state of the system you see this one in an in a thermodynamics we will say i know state of the system i have defined the state of system this is the state of system words are very very funny but what does it mean the collection of all the properties for a thermodynamic system at a certain condition okay is defined as the state of the system so by knowing at a one particular condition as many as possible there could be a minimum obviously but after the minimum how many depends upon your requirement expertise etc etc which we will discuss throughout the course perhaps that's why the collection of these numbers if i collect the numbers and put it on a paper or communicate it to somebody they will say ki ah state of system they'll just say this is the state of system <laughs> they don't use the english words perfectly or a sentences ki i have completely defined the state of system it means say a set of numbers given to the characteristic of a system at a particular condition is state of system I, i mean people can make any meaning out of that but i have described so these properties need not be inter, uh, independent i told you so, i may give a set of uh, properties all the properties need not be independent at all in fact so some may be independent of each other all other properties will be functions of this only okay so this is the convenience of thermodynamic description means i am over specifying the state of system with too many numbers which will help me to understand more deeply suppose if i have a very little but precise information 
the people say why don't you explain for some more time if a process says no i have precisely explained you the concept you don't have to know anything will you be happy no i say sir explain little more why he has to give a more information but this information is a function of whatever stated but you will feel that yes i have understood better now i can take a decision better so that's how the more properties are required all the properties need not be independent you see this one uh, any one of them after this minimum no can be uh, expressed as a function of the others this is the beauty of thermodynamics you you imagine that i have a two bodies okay body a and body b i i give a property called temperature of body a temperature of body b okay so can i say these two are same just by knowing the temperature pressure even the volume perhaps not sufficient to make a, a better decision perhaps i need more properties no doubt those properties may be functions of this one still i'll get a more understanding if i can get a, a more and more properties with the same information the first three out of all the things what is the first three i told you it is up to the person to uh, interpret and understand okay the first three are called internal properties of the system because without these first three it is impossible to completely state the system and afterwards you know if you put more and more information perhaps it will be more perfectly defined so anything other than these uh, uh, first three are called the state functions okay or sometimes people use external functions why i can calculate these external functions using the internal functions and see the internal and external properties are stated as generally mentioned as variables of the state so this is a, a kind of discipline or a kind of protocol you can say because in order to have an international understanding i need to have a good protocol and in fact no uh, yesterday i was in a bhopal to deliver a lecture in a college when i was delivering a lecture uh, related to the invention of aircrafts and jet engines there was a senior german uh, person who worked at least 50 years in a uh, jet engine industry and uh, others were not understanding me well but he was understanding me much better than the other why he and me uh, both understood and followed a protocol in fact i never saw him before none of my habits will match with him perhaps on this topic we were the ones understood each other better than many of them whom i know for past 10 years or 15 years this is very interesting so that so no the protocols help you to understand the scientific knowledge in the uh, fastest way and complete way okay that's why these protocols also to be respected if the variables of state can be arbitrarily i told i told you if i take a glass and pour some water okay the moment i say this is a glass and there is a water in this now more than this no i can say that uh this has some volume at some temperature so suppose if i say water or temperature and volume this should have one single pressure it is impossible to have anything else any pressure then suppose if i want this pressure this volume this temperature then i should change the liquid water to some other liquid some other gas assume that i'll take a two glasses of this kind one is so called empty according to a general perspective one has a water both have the same volume both have the temperature but they are different things so the other properties will be different with respect to this so very very important to know that the some are independent some are dependent parameters now why i am understanding why what is the scientific definition why i want to know the state of the system uh, so much Uh, so many so much deeper a uh, discussion why means let me take with the one of the powerful machine which perhaps created the onset of thermodynamics indirectly perhaps so the first and foremost i want to know what is the beginning of happening in a system when does something start when does the system started uh, changing its uh, state that first uh, onset of a change similarly i need to know what is the culmination of this particular happening something is happening to the system when does this stops and maybe another happening may be starting 
so this uh, complete description of a state or a state of a system through numbers uh, as many as possible variables will help me when does something happen to a system when does something will get closed the people wanted to know well in advance or on the spot or a little later sometimes let us say there is a weather forecasting department they want to know well in advance when the breezing will start when the very huge wind blow will start and how long it will go he want to know that in an advance perhaps as a common user i want to know uh, when it start uh, starting starting point i want to know i want to know when it will stop so that i can go and do my job outside or so the somebody who is doing a some kind of forecasting for a future he wanted to know today the same day last year when does this started and how many times uh, today a day like uh, uh, february uh, 21st last year before last year last to last year what all happened so that i can forecast is there a trend or something special may happen uh, on 21st february he want to know the same beginning and uh, culmination but after few years so everybody wants to know that's how no the decision making and engineering product development everything will happen so let me give you this good example uh, which i explain no i love this thomas avery's uh, engine uh, not because of any reason because this is the one which first time started that a perfect way of invention is in a cycle now you see i'm giving one of the picture episode of this particular engine working i told you this engine works in a cycle again 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 i'm starting with one episode what is the episode you see this particular one i opened a valve d and because of some reason water started climbing and filling the cylinder okay now i want to know when will the filling will stop okay the moment filling stops or if i know indication some senses some firm numbers which will state that this particular cylinder got filled well no more filling may be possible it is a waste to wait for a long time what will i do i'll do the next step what is the next step you see animation i am opening the valve d then what i'll do now everything is frozen this cylinder got filled with the water this water came from a such a deep well without animal teaching an animal without teaching a servant and i have done a society to most of the living species what i used some biomass or some coal which is available that's all how this coal is helping you see this one because i have a boiler here i have filled with some other water and is continuously burning the fuel and giving the heat to the water it is generating a steam that i understood somehow whether it is a classically understood or a scientifically understood we need to see so because there is a steam which has is a ability to do anything what i am doing i am suddenly now i think it is the time to do next event what is the next event started you see i opened the valve a and b the moment i open the valve a and high pressure steam will start entering into this particular water now i have opened another path for the water if possible it can go now depending on what is the capability of this steam which will say pressure now this particular steam will start pushing the water now water will also respond because there is a water, there is a path now uh, this particular water will start climbing all the way okay now the question is when should i stop it can i can i do this one how long afterwards if i don't care about this one if i don't know perfectly when this particular process got culminated what will happen all the steam will escape into the environment i am wasting the fuel after all why i am developing this engine to pump the water not to pump the steam and unnecessarily i waste the water you see this one i need to have a precise because this particular tank may not be visible by the time i started seeing a steam coming out i might have wasted already lot of steam that is not a good way so you cannot wait let the steam come let the steam come that the way cooker works or something then you are wasting the fuel so i need a better indication well before steam started leaking out which is not the goal of the entire thing i should do now at the end of the day what i did the water is lifted from height 1 h1 one step 
next step h2 so both these things happen between two happenings the start of filling end of filling start of delivering end of delivering so that's how there is a suction delivery start of suction end of suction start of delivery end of delivery if i know i can operate them so i need to know you see this one if i go on continuing you see what is happening now i am focusing my focus is now i understood that the decision making should be done by targeting the cylinder which is doing the job then i draw a boundary maybe i'll insulate i'll do something but this is my target i know the boundary okay now within the boundary i started focusing and started describing any quantity which will tell me now stop it let us close a and b and go to some other event to continue further okay so now you see if i continue now you you see the situation all the water is pushed up and if i close if i don't close valve b what will happen the steam will started going because steam already started replacing the water should i waste so much steam by not defining a precisely scientifically the numbers what should be there in the cylinder what should be defined for the cylinder which will tell me not even 1 mg steam will be wasted can i do if the more scientifically if i define those properties more accurately i can operate and save the fuel and get your work done uh, that is pumping the water now what i'll do this entire thing is filled with the uh, steam now i want to stop it now you see this one before opening a and b there was one state of this particular one everything was different the you may say pressure temperature volume or uh, water or a steam steam and water anything now when the process is over when i close the a and b this entire control volume or a control mass or a system in in principle is filled with only steam this has some volume this has some pressure this has some temperature now what i want this is not the end of the story what thomas savery said that you see this one i i don't have the animation of this particular event further you see what thomas savery is some of the water which is climbing you take it and pour it on the walls of the cylinder now what will happen i have closed the entire steam and cooling now the steam whenever you condenses the volume decreases by 1000 times nearly now there will be a huge vacuum created inside the cylinder you see another process the moment the maximum possible vacuum is created i should close the water why should i waste the water when no more vacuum is created again c is closed now this see the beauty of the entire thing there is a vacuum created because there is a vacuum created the way we in hell no deep hot and i get all the air going into my body the same thing all this water will start glowing so now what should i do if i delay further this vacuum is uh, maybe lost because of cooling or anything or a heat transfer whatever may happen so that's how i'll again open d then the water will climb you see this one in order to do a job continuously serve the society with the water distribution in a village or anything you need to know very perfectly when is something happening when is something stopped happening started happening stopped happening these some things know there is a collection of things together will have you see this one first d is opened water will fill when the water filling is complete d should be closed and then a, a and b should be open then the steam will start pushing and water will climb when the entire system gets filled with the steam close a and b then open the valve c and pour the water when the entire steam condenses close c don't waste more water and open d then the water will climb again same story you see in order to do precisely every state should be starting and beginning of state if i don't know correctly scientifically what will happen the same savery engine if it is in delhi it will pump some water and consume more fuel somebody who knows all this one operate the same sama savery engine he'll pump more water with the same fuel consumption why he understood scientifically one day i was talking to a, a driver when i was traveling a long distance to punjab i asked him uh, uh, how do you what is the mileage you can get 
immediately the driver starts saying sir this is indica nobody can get more than 10 i can get a 14 many people can get 12 but nobody can get 14 14 kilometers per uh, petrol i said why sir i know exactly how to accelerate how to apply the brakes how to uh, change the gears because of which i'll save a lot of fuel don't you think the indica and the tata manufacturers are making almost with the same kind of uh, vehicle with a lot of instrumentation precision even then each driver who understand the onset of each thing scientifically or if it depends upon whatever is displayed in front of him uh, then perhaps he can do a better way very important to define scientifically a state of a system and this is the one which will help to serve the society with many appliances why because many things happen in this universe in the engineering in the house, in the body of ourselves or anything, only because the state is changing. Now, to know when the state changes, you need to know. You should know perfectly when you are hungry. Then start eating. When you should, you should stop precisely when your stomach is full or when you had enough. Otherwise, what will happen? Overeating, not able to decide and then there will be related problems. Even for a day, regular life, you need to know scientifically. Okay, so that's where now when I when can I define a state onset and going? So that's where thermodynamic uses another word. See why so many definitions? The more the number of definitions, no, you will get a more conscious conscious about or consciousness about the uh, engineering system. If you have a very little uh, definitions, you cannot differentiate between uh, few a phenomena that's how you you see the next one uh, frequently we refer not only to the properties of the substance so though i am referring to water in the glass i am refer referring to precisely all the water in the glass isn't it so whenever i say the water in this glass what is the meaning of this one the entire water in this glass suppose if i say temperature of the water in the glass what i mean the temperature of the entire water in this glass the pressure of the water in the glass means entire so whenever i am referring to a matter actually i am referring to the entire system when can i say whatever i do will be attributed to the entire system even if i take a thermometer i try to measure this particular one precisely this particular thermometer is touching a small part of this particular water even then i attribute this particular temperature to entire system why there is something which i have to get convinced with what is the thing to be get convinced when can i say whatever i measured is a total temperature of this one you imagine there is some water i drop the ice and immediately i put a thermometer and get some temperature can i say this is the temperature of the water then you, are, you will make a mistake because at that particular point the effect of ice may be overfelt are underfelt and remaining part of the water is yet to feel the presence of ice so means before i state whenever something happens i have to be careful i, I said it no the water was there in the cylinder i introduced the steam immediately i cannot say something i need to wait whether i am defining the entire system or not so that's where the engineering thermodynamics or a thermodynamics classical thermodynamics it is necessary necessarily imply that the value of the property has the significance for the entire system. Isn't it obvious? Now the question is, are you conscious? You are measuring a temperature or you are defining a temperature. You are giving that number. Are you seriously conscious that whatever number you are giving is truly applicable to entire system? Now to do that one, what is your duty before you define this number? before calculate this number or before measure this number you have to do a fundamental duty because this particular information will be used by somebody in america though i am doing because i am making the milk powder exporting all over the world what he assumes ha huh, this particular fellow is measuring assuming something that's why i can eat this milk powder i don't have any problem i'll never get any problem because he is following see that international or a far fetched meanings of something what you do this kind of feel in fact no it's a feel it is the discipline it is the understanding this feel itself is called a equilibrium 
so whenever i am giving a te temperature to this particular water in the glass so i have a feel that whatever i am specifying is applicable to the entire system that's how no whenever you go to a doctor with a, a problem the doctor will ask open your mouth number 1 below the tongue if you are a little a grown up if you are a small kid or a baby who cannot handle this particular thermometer in the mouth he will do something else or she will do something else he will ask number 1 open your mouth lift the tongue below the tongue he will say and now close the mouth then immediately will he take a temperature ah ho gaya no he will see his watch what is this meaning of this one because he wanted to attribute whatever measured to the entire body of yours and if he takes a quick decision just by touch it ha huh, done then what will happen he is giving a wrong meaning if you walk in a hot sun with the same fever your body will give tem some temperature with the same amount of fever if you come out of a ac room you will get something else and he will take a wrong decision he will give a wrong medicine you are feeling a fever doctor will say ki no 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 you don't have a fever and you have a mild fever because you walked in the sun the doctor feels that you have a high fever he will give a over medicine both are wrong so that's where the feel of the equilibrium is essential to define the state to describe the numbers and to start or a stop a process so you see this one is there any science which you learnt in entire life so much concern about everything what you do i don't think so i have learned so many subject in my life i haven't seen a subject which is so conscious and so particular ki whatever you do should be as good as possible it should be perfect that's why you know the great einstein says there is no other subject on this globe which can be better than the thermodynamics everybody should learn maybe as a profession or as a non profession okay very important to you see this one every system in this universe spontaneously move towards the equilibrium the moment you understand you know the universal truth of the law sorry the universal law uh, for the entire uh, happenings all the happenings the universal law of happening why things happen no because they have, they want to reach a to an equilibrium and the word spontaneously means without any external force without any external energy every system in this universe what they want to do they want to come close they want to come towards equilibrium if you understand this principle no uh, you can define the properties you can give a number very precisely because this is the law of nature every entity in this system will try to come close to each other okay <clears throat> now you see this one i have enclosed something so there is a ice inside a tank which has an air and there is a uh, a kind of solid stone okay now the initially you no know, i insulated the entire ice as if it is an isolated system for example now you see this one the stone has some properties the air has some properties and the ice is very very cold that effect i never let it to the suddenly i just open the insulation on the ice i'll wait i'm not doing anything at all so if i wait 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 what will happen to this one they'll try to come close to each other why after all ice start melting and becomes a liquid why there is a small amount of evaporation of water into the air and some condensation happening together you see that so much attention all these three doesn't have a li life at all they are trying to exchange you see what is the beauty of the nature we people have a life if i have a 1000 rupees if i have a, somebody has a 100 rupees i think it is my money i don't have to share at all whether he dies also i don't care i have a money i am happy see this one these these systems don't have a life they are trying to reach into equilibrium see universal law of secularism whether you have a life or not life the law of nature is they come close to each other and they share everything okay the spontaneously without thing unless somebody forces suppose if i insulate this particular entire ice sorry if i insulate entire ice 
deliberately then only i can create the in equilibrium the moment i started uh, doing something okay if i don't do anything deliberately what is natural all the entities of this universe to the extent possible will reach the uh, equilibrium out of which thermodynamics recognized the most important equilibrium and perhaps the most pleasant equilibrium other equilibriums you know may or may not occur so easily so explicitly one equilibrium which is occurring very obviously again and again billions and billions of the times uh, we are i am speaking you are listening there are so many things happening all those things will have some level of thermal equilibrium reaching to a thermal equilibrium that's how the the first scientific principle in thermodynamics is understanding this concept or uh, this law of nature through thermal equilibrium so it is observed that a higher temperature object which is in contact with the lower temperature object will spontaneously transfer heat to the lower one why they are doing that they want to come to equilibrium why that is the law of nature unless somebody forces them not to do they'll try to reach close to each other the thermal equilibrium is the one suppose if there is a cold water and if i put an ice okay now the ice and water they want to reach equilibrium to each other the depending on the relative masses etc etc which we need to study the ice may melt the temperature of the water will decrease much much lower than the initial see the thing you no know, both are coming together it's not that one fellow is here oh i am the ice i am the boss you should come to me i will not come to you no that may not happen even water cannot say i am the boss i am so much you are after all an ice you should come i will not change that cannot happen at all there is no no, no ego in fact in a thermodynamic materials and this thermal equilibrium is the one coming close to each other is the first thing which creates so many ideas the more closely the more deeply you understand this one you can make a wonderful things in your life and you can achieve many things in your life the objects will approach the same temperature and in the absence of loss to other objects they will then maintain the equal temperature now what i am saying i have a glass of water i dropped the ice if the entire glass is insulated then they get the equality of the temperatures suppose if i don't insulate there is another body because for them nobody is uh, dear and nobody is enemy all are equal that is the society in which they live they don't have any kind of differentiation the way we do so suppose if i insulate deliberately now this is only the universe for this fellow what is the universe water and ice they don't see anything else the surrounding and system are very precise and fixed then what will happen essentially the water and ice will come to equilibrium of thermal nature and the temperature will be same suppose if i insulate again the air around this one is now will start feeling the uh, cold water around me then what will happen some of the moisture which is in the air will start condensing and you will see a beautiful moist layer on this one means that air particular one so then this particular water will start dripping why it is feeling the entire thing so this link goes on perhaps after some distance suppose if i take the glass here put the water put an ice this is a big hall uh, in that corner of this particular hall nothing may be happening because of this because it is too far for this particular system to feel that that is also my environment you see the level of uh, vision to be developed while understanding the thermodynamics thermodynamics you no know, doesn't limit your thinking by putting a more rules the beauty of thermodynamics is it gives more and more rules to make it make you to think more and more liberally <laughs> so in general you no know, if you go to any other science like a law or so they put more laws not to make you to think diversely but in the thermodynamics you no know, it gives more laws more ideas to make give you more freedom of thinking that is the beauty of thermodynamics and the law stated because the purpose of thermodynamics is not just a materialistic engineering the purpose of thermodynamics is the welfare of anything and everything maybe human maybe the plants maybe the animals 
maybe the planet maybe the entire solar system maybe the entire universe everything is a thermodynamics for a thermodynamics nobody is a near nobody is enemy so they are then said to be a thermal equilibrium when these two because i am only talking about the two because there are too many systems interacting with each other system surrounding system surrounding to understand no i limit my focus that water and ice there is nothing else for time being then i can say if they are in thermal equilibrium they will be having equality of temperatures so thermal equilibrium refers to the equality of the temperature now the the entire thing is this one the doctor problem is solved somehow doctor uh, why that is happened that is the next level of understanding let us take something granted somehow this doctor has got a scientifically approved thermometer now what is the goodness of this particular thermometer whatever happens with respect to the temperature to this thermometer bulb it will show oh i am at this temperature why it was it has a memory or it has a talent now this particular thermometer when you go to the doctor he will ask you to open your mouth and open the tongue because below the tongue the liquid pool will be very powerful and then he will keep this particular thermometer into that then what will happen slowly these people will try to come to equilibrium now you see this one what is thermometer what is it made of what is the tongue what is it made of whether you have a intention or a not intention no 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 i will not let happen that will not happen unless you open your mouth of course unless the some uh, naughty naughty children no they'll try to make the uh, entire bulb coming on the tongue or they'll play with then the doctor waits waits it is not coming equilibrium so then ki then that's why you not know, to handle these children nowadays there is a radiation type of this one whatever he may do this radiation sensor can better measure because this is a naughty boy he is not letting me to at the end of the day a uh, systems have to come to equilibrium then only my decision making will be correct something i am having a fever fever i don't know what is happening to me the moment i go to the doctor or i myself take a thermometer and sell at least i'll get first level of knowledge oh my my body temperature is little higher more higher so is it that i should manage on my own or should i go to the doctor after going to the doctor also doctor will measure the temperature is it a typhoid is it a malaria or it is not a tall fever because of some other indigestion there is a more heat generation or so it is not to do with the fever i need to give something for his stomach to be perfect decision could be anything the temperature is such a powerful symptom whatever happened to the body the first symptom may become temperature there there may be million reasons why our body temperature changes from the normal and everything cannot be attributed to serious dengue and start treating that is nonsense so that's how you see this particular equilibrium has so much a wrong decision so the moment the equilibrium is perfectly reached means the doctor should make sure that in in between he checks because i belong to a small town the doctor is close to us when we were children doctor again has have you kept thermometer correctly are you playing with this one i know you are a naughty boy you don't do that's why i have to be careful why he wants his decision to be perfect why he is uh, taking care of the welfare of his patient all these things are see small materialistic statement has so much welfare to the society now thermal equilibrium is the subject of temperature measurement why i am concerned without perfectly understanding the thermo, uh, thermal equilibrium nobody should start doing the temperature measurement a person who will never understand thermal equilibrium if he starts measuring a temperature and taking a decision he'll kill the entire nature or entire engineering device so mean the qualification for me to say that i am capable of measuring the temperature every doctor will be give a training what is the training nearly whenever you have a thermometer of standard size you when you keep below the tongue exactly below the tongue it takes 15 seconds nearly to come to equilibrium of some level there may be a small difference but that doesn't matter it is almost you can say that this is the temperature of the body the doctor looks at it 15 seconds if he doesn't have a second mill 
A second uh, mark at all means he is cheating. A doctor should have always a watch with seconds displayed. So some time it takes. Then the ta time takes. Then he will immediately pull it out. He should not take too much time. He will pull it out, talk to me, how are you, etc. That entire thing. This fellow will reach equilibrium of the air, not your body. After some time, what he is measuring? Air temperature, atmosphere, not your body. Well before this fellow. Because these people are so uh, normal in nature. They don't have any selfish nature. You make a friendship with them. Equilibrium. So you have to be careful in handling the entire thing. So what I am trying to give a message is the one. So that's how no the in order to come up with a scientific description of a system, thermodynamics understood the nature. What is the nature? All the entities in the nature, spontaneous characteristic without any external force. What is the spontaneous characteristic of them? They want to come to equilibrium. So whenever you are doing a measurement of temperature. You establish that, you encourage them. You don't take a thermometer just to touch it like this. This is a wrong way of measurement. So use their characteristic and help them to reach equilibrium as fast as possible, as perfectly as possible. For that what I do? I'll ask to open the mouth. Why? Be below the tongue, the body temperature is very good. There is a good amount of liquid which is generated. If I put that this particular thermometer in the liquid pool, it will establish a very good relation between your body and the thermometer and very fast to the extent of perfection, this thermometer will come to the equilibrium. And what is the greatness of this thermometer? My body doesn't have a good indication of what is my temperature number wise. I can get all the symptoms, my, my stomach is upset all because of temperature, I am feeling weak. All these are unfortunately, they are not scientific. They are not numerical, quantitative. So the moment I put the thermometer, when the thermometer is in equilibrium with my body, this is giving a quantitative description of my body. Then the doctor will think, why this fellow has this? Should I be happy with only the uh, temperature or should I check his uh, body uh, pulsations? He will try to check the timing here, timing here, timing here, the number of pulses, beats, the whatever count he could get to the stethoscope. Then he will reinforce his information. You imagine, even if he is using a stethoscope, the doctor no, just touch it, ah, ho gaya. no. Breathe it fully, breathe out fully. And if you see, <laughs> then he said, no, 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 aram se kar. We do it closely. Why? He has to establish an equilibrium. That may not be thermal equilibrium. But no, thermodynamics gave one idea. The same idea will be used for anything which you go to measure. So the law, the perfection of measurement, not only no. So thermodynamics uh, classically states a law of measurement of temperature, but it gives philosophy of measurement to entire globe. There is no other subject which consciously says that you should measure the properties for me in this way. They don't care. They started giving equations, they started giving the consequences. Nobody says, what is the responsible way of measuring? But thermodynamics does. It is the thermodynamics. If you learn the thermodynamics, no, you will get responsibility. You may not be doing thermal engineering at all. You may be doing a biomedical. You may be doing a mechanical. You may be doing a computer science. All of you know that even in the many of the chips which you get, one particular uh, terminal gives the temperature of the chip. Why? If you monitor the temperature of the chips correctly, the life will be better. And it will, the computer will not hang suddenly and spoil all your effort. And you can work continuously without hanging and interruption. So see the wisdom. A hardware engineer who doesn't respect this one will always make a chip, but you need another one to measure the temperature. And that will not give a good contact. Now you imagine, you have a complete IC, that is silicon wafer, Within the wafer, a small, warty, a small part is a thermometer. Now you see, within the system it is perfectly means, it will be always in equilibrium with the entire body. Every time I don't have to put it, wait for 20 minutes, it will go along with the chip. When I start the computer, the entire chip and this particle is at the same temperature, slowly. You see this one, everybody or anybody who learns this law, he will do his job perfectly, otherwise his job will be. Somebody who writes a programming, he should say, take this one, 
for the sake of system level software how should i use the output of this particular digital information for the sake of protecting the computer whenever the computer is hanging and rebooting means it is stopping the burning of the ic otherwise what will happen entire ic temperature will increase it will burn the hanging or a rebooting is a protection mechanism developed by the programmer so i bought a i, I bought a mobile once and there is something problem with the software uh, it was a, i don't want to tell the name because they may get upset there was a programming error i charge for days and days always it shows your battery is low why the software engineer did not took that particular data perfectly to build into the decision making okay whatever you do this information about the measurement is essential and though thermodynamics talks about the thermal equilibrium but it gives a vision for everything see the powerful equation what is called a zeroth law of thermodynamics i love this word zeroth why zeroth the zero is the mother of all the numbers why i am calling this law as a zeroth law it is the mother of all the laws not only thermodynamic laws any law you state it if you don't measure what is proving that law correctly or that law will be disproved many times that's how the mother of all the laws is zeroth law why zero is the mother of all the numbers okay the zeroth law states that two thermodynamic systems in equilibrium with a same environment are in thermal equilibrium with each other so very important so two bodies they are independently in thermal equilibrium with a environment somehow no if i have a body one and body two many a times no it is impossible for these two come to equilibrium obviously i cannot eliminate an environment in between at all you imagine i go i said this is the one i'm touching 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 whatever may be the touching can i say perfectly my skin got the contact with this one can i say that i eliminated the air gap in between perfectly if there is a air gap between these two now is this environment is encouraging or discouraging they they to come to equilibrium so that's how if i open the mouth what is there it is a liquid pool so between my body and the sensor there is a liquid pool now what is actually happening my body is in equilibrium with the liquid pool and the thermometer bulb is also equilibrium with the liquid pool and this liquid pool no has a very good conduction it conducts the heat very powerful unlike a gaseous a pool or a air pool so eventually it is helping these two fellows to come to equilibrium though they are not touching each other in between there is an environment so it looks like whatever you do having a contact with two successive may not be possible at all that's how you need to have an environment for this one now actually what is happening the thermometer bulb is in equilibrium with the liquid pool the body is already in equilibrium with the liquid pool but the thermometer may not touch the liquid pool always sorry body always perfectly so then i'll say ki these two are in equilibrium they are the same temperature why that environment is in equilibrium with both of them so which means that they two as if it is they have touched each other though that touching never happened physically see the power of zero etala it is says that don't look for a perfect contact between a and b try to take the help of another c in between which will give you better and valid and important otherwise what will happen you if you depend on a and b indirectly you work a struggle 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 you may not get not only that it has an implication more than this what i am saying i'll come back to this particular point yes in fact now suppose if i am having a high body fever the one one teacher asked a question our body temperature should be equal to the surroundings according to the uh, equilibrium law yes it tries to you see this one whenever you have a high fever and let us say you have a high fever your mother or a dad is our normal temperature and they want the fan you say ki you you switch off the fan i am getting shivering why because your body temperature is high you are trying to reach equilibrium very much faster than them your body is losing lot of heat that shivers so both are trying to 
but i don't want to reach that particular equilibrium if i am having a body temperature wh what is the big reason why i am getting a fever there is an unknown chemical process which is producing the lot of heat my body cannot survive with that much amount of heat release as in as early as possible i should stop and control that process that's why i am taking a medicine you see this one you you are sitting with your dad or a mom or a friend their body temperature is all right but the same environment and fan and you have a fever in your body so that's how you start shivering because of the high temperature so then what will you do you take a big blanket and everything cover in spite of switching off that so in meanwhile let us say you have taken a medicine your that process is controlled suddenly what happens this particular blanket looks too much to you and you start swe sweating why it is stopping the thermo equilibrium between you and you open everything now you will feel happy why so what i want to say no the perfectly reaching equilibrium and tending to reach equilibrium are two different things whenever i want to make a measurement i want the system to reach equilibrium i am not using my body to re ten <laughs> sorry measure the temperature of this room sorry but i i should try to if everything is correct i want my body to be in equilibrium that will never happen why i am eating i am thinking i am doing exercise i am releasing lot of heat this heat has to continuously go through i don't want equilibrium with environment that's what happiness what i can get don't you think so because environment is different you see i'm talking about reaching equilibrium not obviously there is a purpose when you want to but every entity will try to reach to the equilibrium whether they perfectly reach or not depends upon the situation whether you encourage or discourage why we want the different clothing in different if it is a hot summer some light if it is a peak winter something closed why i don't want me to come equilibrium with this 45 degrees celsius outside you want your body to be equilibrium nonsense you will get killed the zero degree uh, chilling do you want your body to be equilibrium no i want to fight agnes so why i am fighting agnes otherwise the spontaneously they are reaching equilibrium very important don't take that key reaching equilibrium is essential but they'll reach equilibrium is the natural uh, characteristic yeah yeah hello 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 sir yeah please proceed uh, sir whenever our body is in contact with the surrounding yeah then is try to attain the temperature of the surrounding right it it tries to attain the surrounding temperature no doubt about it but the thing is is it good for the body or not you have to decide why we do air conditioned room with maintained temperature what is that perfect temperature which we maintain okay all these things are maintained means i don't want the my body to reach the equilibrium with the surroundings that's why i am maintaining that's what i was trying to say every in everything is not to reach equilibrium they'll try to reach equilibrium but the in engineering sometimes i want a equilibrium to be reached as fast as possible sometimes i don't want because the body its requirement is it has its own temperature to be maintained and if its body temperature is not maintained because of the ambient or a surrounding what i am doing i am covering okay don't take this particular explanation in a wrong way the efforts of everybody should not be that they should reach equilibrium the purpose should be understood got the point sir suppose i am not uh, taking uh, any clothes or anything like that to prevent any uh, reaching of the equilibrium then you think that our body uh, will go to the temperature like surrounding is having ah uh, no you uh, to prevent so right so here no you are in that i will our body can no you are missing one important point in this one two, two bodies will try to reach equilibrium spontaneously but do you think our body is spontaneous continuously you are generating so much heat there is some process which is generating the body and forcing your body to be different 
so i am not a dead body un, 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 i mean unfortunately a living species are not a, uh, what is called i can't say dead body inactive bodies there are so many forcing functions which are happening in a living system so that's how no our body processes will never make me to react spontaneously our thinking process sometimes no uh, even if the temperature of my body and the surrounding is same why should i cover i said that is the culture i should not expose myself and somebody who is supposed to cover because they are unnecessarily reaching equilibrium out of fashion they uncover everything and get the fever also because they want to show up so all these things are to be taken the human body is never non spontaneous unfortunately uh, never spontaneous there are so many non spontaneous things happen in a human body uh, don't take the human body as a simple thermodynamic system this spontaneity you know not applicable to human your thinking will change your spontaneous and you you are eating something that will change the spontaneousness so you are going to gym and doing everything you are changing these are not spontaneous at all these are all forcing many things to happen Yeah. Uh, sir, do you think due to the uh, dynamic processes that take place in our body, our body's temperature should continuously change or fluctuate? Yes, that's what I'm saying. The actually, you no. Know, every living species is blessed with what is, blessed are. A, I don't know whether it is an advantage or a disadvantage. It's more philosophically. All the living species called something called brain, equivalent to brain. this brain out of training thinks that he is the smart or she is the smart and it tries to control everything and the spontaneous nature of the body is continuously spoiled by this that's why you know people know meditate concentrate don't think don't do for some time you try to focus why the spontaneous actions are so many this is the one which will try to disturb so living system cannot be taken as a simple body uh that that's why the human body now you imagine suppose if i uh, if there is a dead body and if i keep in the environment why the body temperature goes to so low when you touch that body why that body is almost like colder than you because it is trying to reach the equilibrium with this because that is a spontaneous now that is that can work like a spontaneously isn't it there is no forcing function in a dead body living species has so many non spontaneous things happening there are forcing functions okay welcome so stop it okay so the tomorrow yeah yeah please yeah please so that means human body is isolated system repeat the question please that means human body is isolated system no voice is not clear is it clear you you are not holding the mic correctly sir hmm? hello yeah please so that means human body is isolated system ah uh, no 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 this is very important to human bodies are never isolated they are connected but unfortunate thing is human body is not a not allow the spontaneity there are so many actions happening so what i am saying is the human body is always interacting with the uh, surrounding it is not at all isolated why because there are forcing functions inside the body these are forcing not to uh, interact spontaneous way that's why the human body is never never in fact no because of this reason human body till it dies no it can never get isolated at all okay so the human body is not isolated it is interacting but uh, that interaction is forced with another thing not to interact not to interact okay what is the not to interact let us say uh, it is very cold i have only simple shirt like this then what will happen you get a shivering you get a sneezing there are signals from your body what is says ki are are you a fool why don't you cover you should not interact like this you have to maintain some kind of isolation why you are doing there are some actions happening it is all the thinking process then you will go to the one there are some people who doesn't care listen to their inner or outer voice and try to expose and they get essentially go to this one there are many if you see the poorest of the poor in delhi and the whole midnight is very cold 
they want it but they don't get an environment which can isolate them eventually there are deaths happening in uh, winter because the body is fighting fighting uh, finally the equilibrium is ultimate when you cannot fight against which shows that the human body isolation is so tough okay. then okay okay thank you thank you very much uh, i'll start the zero tla with the total part and all of you prepare and think and keep the equilibrium in your mind otherwise you know this law will be misunderstood by many people because it's only one one line small lines are more powerful than the 100 lines